Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and this lesson is about making your first simple map with Google My Maps. First, you go to maps.google.com and log in with your Google account. Then you use the menu to get to My Maps and you create your own map. You add markers and save the markers and you're done. You have a custom map. There are several different ways to get to My Maps. I'm going to show you my favorite way. First, you just go to maps.google.com. You can get there from this little grid and be sure that you are logged in. I am logged in using a test account that I call Guest. Then to get to My Maps, you click on the three dash menu over on the left and My Maps. This user has never created any maps before, so this list is blank and you just click Create Map. Now I'm going to create a map of my favorite places in Fort Lauderdale. So I'm going to I'm going to call this map Then I am going to zoom into Fort Lauderdale, which is where I am at now. I'm just using the scroll wheel to do this. I'm going to add three markers to this simple map. One that is a place that only I know about and two that are standard places on Google Maps. So the one that I want is a parking place on the beach where we go kayak diving from. And it's right here. I need to add my own marker. So I use this tool. Here are all the tools available. I add a marker. It has loaded my pointer, my mouse, with the marker and I just click where I want it to go. I can then give it a title and a description and even a picture if I want. Okay, then when you need to save it. You need to save any edits you do to markers. You do not, however, need to save the whole map. It is getting saved for you automatically. The second place I want to mark is the Jungle Queen. Jungle Queen River Boat. It's a long time tourist attraction in Fort Lauderdale and all I do is add to map. I don't need to add my own marker because the marker that Google has is fine. Notice it even has the phone number and the website and a way to view in Google Maps so you can get directions. I can add my own description if I want by clicking the pencil and then save. And the last place I want is a restaurant. Once again, the marker that Google has is just fine. It has the website, the phone number. I'll just click Add to Map. This has been put onto a layer. You can have up to 10 layers, so I should probably give this one a name. The whole map I'm calling Florida, so I'll call this one Fort Lauderdale. And you're done. There is no saving that needs to be done. It is automatically saved. So I'm going to close this now and say, well, how would we see this in the future? From a Chrome browser, you would go to Maps. And you still need to be logged in as the same user that created that map because this is for your eyes only until you should choose to share it. And we'll have another video on that. So I'm now at Google Maps, logged in with this user, click the three dash menu and My Maps. And there it is.